In this presentation, what we're going to do is look at diagonal matrices. And first off, what we're going to do is look at the, di the diagonal of a matrix, okay? So this is the diagonal of a matrix, okay? The main diagonal is, some, is what it may be called, of a matrix. And essentially, it, starting at the top left and working down for the square matrix, it's essentially those elements there. So uh, it's, it's a sort of important barrier because you might sort of get like uh, uh, certain types of uh, matrices, like lower diagonal, upper diagonal, would be sort of this would be fundamental to that sort of definition. So, so that's as simple as that. That is the diagonal of a matrix. Now, something that is uh, often of interest is the trace of a matrix. So this is our uh, matrix A, and suppose we might be interested in the trace of A. Okay. And essentially, what the trace of A is essentially is the sum of the diagonal components on on A. So this A is actually one plus two plus six. Just add them all up and get the answer there. Uh, the answer is nine. Sort of a strange one, actually, if you think about it. But there are sort of like uh, future applications where that the trace of a matrix comes in fairly handy. Okay, so that is um, the diagonal of a matrix and the trace of a matrix. Now there's a couple of uh, 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 sort of applications where you might be able to extract the diagonal uh, uh, matrix. For example, you might be uh, as required from A, there's a couple of sort of uh, procedures where you might actually have to take out the diagonal and sort of separate it. So what you might do here in that case is a couple of methods there is you actually just sort of separate out one, two, six, zero 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 and zero and so on and uh, there's a couple of methods there I really won't get into that anymore but just to sort of say you would set up a little matrix like that now uh, incidentally what this is is a diagonal matrix also okay so this is a diagonal matrix okay not the diagonal of a matrix this is a diagonal matrix now this is some has some useful properties here okay this matrix here so first off uh, there is one in particular that you might be interested in it's to do with diagonalization of a matrix that is for some matrix a what you would do there is pre multiply by the inverse of a and post multiply by or sorry, of some matrix P and post multiply by P, and you would be able to get some diagonal matrix here D. Okay, some sort of like mathematical uh, operation. Uh, I won't get too much more into that, but uh, there's a couple of more things that we'd be interested if you're familiar with this diagonalization stuff. Is that the you might be interested in powers of a diagonal matrix, and in that case, uh, what is of interest here is how to. Um, get the multiples of this diagonal matrix here. So I'm going to sort of skip past that. I just to sort of put it in some sort of context. Suppose we were interested in D squared, okay, uh, where D is that di uh, matrix um, above there. Suppose we were interested in getting D squared. Essentially, rather than have to go through uh, the whole thing again, or sort of multiplying it out by um, D by D, essentially all is required to do is to actually sort of uh, Square square individual terms here, okay. So this is going to be d squared zero two squared zero 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 and six squared, okay. <laughs> so that's why a diagonal matrix is very sort of handy to know, because uh, you don't have to do any particularly difficult operations there. So for example, that what d squared is simply one zero 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 four zero 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 thirty six okay simple as that uh, d cubed is something similar it's one cubed two cubed and six cubed and so on okay now that is interesting enough now there's one more thing i'm going to sort of mention about the inverse of diagonal matrix okay and again we're sort of lucky here because it is not a particularly hard operation, but if you know what, that's uh, great. So the di inverse of diagonal matrix, so suppose we have uh, d to the minus 1, okay, um, it is essentially using d as we had earlier on, essentially 1 over 1, 1 over 2, and 1 over 6, okay. Essentially for all of these terms, just one over uh, whatever term you uh, with all these elements here. I'll just sort of write that out fully. So it's actually just one over whatever uh, all the all all those diagonal terms there. Okay. So for example, um, 
A, let's just say we are interested in this matrix here, and the terms are A, B, C, and zeros elsewhere. The inverse of that is A to the minus 1, or 1 over A, I'll just write it as 1 over A, 0, 0, 0, 1 over B, 0, 0, 0, and 1 over C. Okay, so essentially that's just a couple of remarks about the diagonal of a matrix and a couple of useful properties of the diagonal of a matrix, like uh, getting powers of that matrix and so on, and also and inverting it, and also the trace of a matrix as well. Okay, and what the diagonal matrix of a matrix is. Diagonal of a matrix.